How's it going, everyone? This is Dixon of the Ultimate Gamer. I'm logging on. In this Halloween special, I'm going over some of the classic DOS 2D platformer games from the 90s. All three of the games are from Apogee, aka 3D Realms. Mainly, I'm going to be talking about one Apogee game that went all the way through, but since it's Halloween month, I also decided to bring the other two games because they have Halloween references in them. First game, Monster Bash. You play as a kid, goes by the name of Johnny Dash. The kid with his trusty slingshot in his pajamas that has the guts to fight alone against the evil underworld of Count Chuck to slay all monsters in his way to rescue his dog, along with hundreds of other pet dogs and cats. Now that kid has some serious... Guts. Now, I already like the story and the objectives for Monster Bash. Monster Bash may sound like a kid's game, but some monsters turn into gore piles after Dash wastes them. So I guess you can give it a T rating. Monster Bash has three episodes, and the game is pretty cool, but it kind of gets repetitive and tedious after a while. I always had that feeling when playing DOS platformers from Apogee, in the later years, probably because I didn't have any of the experience of those type of games in my youth, because I stuck to console games only. All I can say for Monster Bash is that, that it's a perfect game for Halloween month, and it's actually the closest out of the three Apogee games for Halloween, and the concept of the game is fascinating, I love to rescue animals, the game is creative all around, the music's quite good. But Monster Bash also gets tiresome after a while, and it gets boring. So I definitely didn't get a chance to complete it all the way through. In fact, I'm a long way through it. I didn't complete the first episode. But Monster Bash is still recommendable on Steam or GOG. Second game, Hocus Pocus. No relations to that overrated Betty Midler movie. Thank goodness for that. But in a way, Hocus Pocus is considered to be the least favorite out of the three. I didn't go far with this one, but I still added it because of having a Halloween month vibe. This game I dropped out of much sooner, because it doesn't appeal to me at this time. Not saying it's a bad game, it's just that it's the least relevant of the three. I do apologize for not having notes on this game. Third game and the main event, Alien Carnage, also known as Halloween Harry. Now this game is my favorite out of the three Apogee games. This is the game I've been putting most of my time into, which is another reason why I dropped out on the other two games, is because Alien Carnage was the first game I was playing, and I didn't have time or the effort or any request to play through the other two games and I was busy working on other projects during this month. Might look back into the other two games in the future, but right now, Alien Carnage is the main attraction of this episode. The main purpose of Alien Carnage is that Earth is on the verge of takeover by aliens attend on turning humans into mindless slay zombies, who can be used in their conquest of the universe. And this is where Harry comes in. Harry was called into action to the space station Liberty with his trusty jetpack and flamethrower to stop the alien invasion from floor to floor on four missions by eliminating zombified creatures, aliens, mastermind bosses, and etc. Plus rescue surviving hostages and getting different types of ammo on the way. Now why is Alien Carnage my favorite game out of the three? Well. It's not a long game, the music's awesome, 
the VGA graphics and animations with 256 colors, plus the cinematic sequences are amazing. The weapons are great, and I like the fact that the flamethrower is the default weapon, which uses the same feel as the jetpack. But once you find a refueling station for your fuel, it's always free. Well, then again, I think that depends on what difficulty setting you have it at. And you can also earn currency to get other weapons, ammo, and projectiles. And they do come in handy at certain moments. And some drawbacks of the game is like any other Apogee side scores, That the controls are stiff, especially when using the keyboard. And no matter what progress you made on one level, or when you save before losing one life, you start the level over again. There's no checkpoint. But you can save in between levels though. So you can always continue on to the next level. At least that's good news. And another issue is when you're facing the main boss on each mission, it seems like you can only use the default weapon, which is the flamethrower. You can't use any other weapons or grenades or projectiles against the main boss, just your flamethrower. Alien cars can be difficult. Sometimes I use certain cheats if I get stuck. Because I don't have a lot of time to go over the entire game completely legit. Using the keyboard controls for a game like this is out of the question since I can use an Xbox controller for it. Either than that, Alien Carnage is a great 2D platformer game, and it's recommendable. The other two games, Monster Bash and Hocus Pocus, they're both still good games. I just thought I didn't have a lot of time to put effort into them because I played those two games after Alien Carnage. And I've been working on other projects this month. I might give those two games another chance in the future. Oh, I might even change my opinion between the three. But as it stands now between the three Apogee games, Alien Carnage, also known as Halloween Harry, is the winner. And that's pretty much all I gotta say about that for this Halloween special. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you're all having an awesome Halloween month so far. And this is Dixon of the Ultimate Gaming Realm saying Happy Halloween. And this is Dixon of the Ultimate Gaming Realm logging off.